Hey guys, Joe's Rotobach here. I'm going to be showing you how to hide the the shadow and the background on a UI web view to make it look 100% completely native. So we'll start by going to Xcode, File, New Project, and uh, we'll create a view-based application. Ah, uh, yes, iPhone. I'll name it uh, Hidden Hidden Web View. Now what we're going to need to do, enlarge our classes and resources folders. Now in our hidden web view controller.h, we're going to add a, we'll add an IV outlet, uh, UI web view, okay UI web view and we'll name it web view. No, okay, this is all we need right now. Now go into menwindow.xib, double click this file, oops, fail, just load up that one. Now in our view, we're going to need to add a web view, probably guessed it, web view, and this library, if you don't have it, go to tools and library, you also need inspector. Now just drag a web view in. Okay, sorry about that. Drag a web view in this time. And right now, okay, detection, we can enable scale pages to fit. And background, you'll probably notice it doesn't do anything. What we're going to need to do is now select files owner, then select its, its connections. And what we're going to do is drag web view to our web view. And now we can quit interface builder. Now go into our hidden web view view controller.m and uncomment our view did load. Make sure you take out both of the comments or stars. Enter twice. Then paste the following code. I'll have it in the video description probably on my server. Now web view load request open bracket, nsurl request, request with url, open bracket, nsurl, url with string, and I've got a url of mine on my server. Then then you have your apps at symbol, open, inverted commas, close, close three times, then semicolon. And what I've got here is web view scale pages to fit that we did in interface builder. And now here's what's special. WebView.opaque equals no. Now this is the important part. Right now, well these three things we need enabled. Now right now, I'll just comment them out and show you what it looks like without them. Let's build and run. Okay, our WebView is loaded up. As you can see, it really doesn't look native at all. You can just see it's a web view by that gray bar. So right now we're going to quit X. We're going to quit that. And right now, web view dot opaque. We we're going to uncomment that. Set it as no, and also uncomment that to set web view's background color. Oh, one more thing we need to do in our XRB file. It's going to open up interface builder. We're going to set this background color. You can set it as any color as you like, but I will set it as a table of view simple background, which is standard for iPhone. Save and quit. And now, basically, if we build and run right now, what we're going to get is a web view. But as you can see, the shadows still look a bit weird. So, what we're going to do is run this for loop. It's going to remove all of our shadows by hiding the resource. Let's build a run. And what do you know? There is absolutely no way to tell that this is a web view. This looks 100% native and even if we open a new, a, a new page, it still looks completely native. Okay, this is Joe's Roto Video Productions. Please rate, comment and subscribe.